Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device. Now here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy J7, originally from AT&T, and this is the 2018 version, because I know there have been a couple different generations of the J7. And this is a device that does have the Google account lock enabled here. As we can see, as we're going through the setup process, we get to this screen that tells us if the device was reset, and to continue, we have to sign in with the previous Google account that was on it. And that's basically what the Google lock, or the FRP lock, consists of. Google added it back in about Android 5 or so to help combat some of the theft and fraud that happens with the buying and selling of mobile devices these days. So now when you factory reset the device without taking off the Google account that's on it, it's then going to ask you to log into that account again as a security measure after the reset is performed to verify that only the true original owner can get back into it. So we've had tons of customers contact us over the years asking us for assistance with this specific problem, usually either because they themselves got locked out accidentally and couldn't remember or, or couldn't recover their login information, or because they were sold the device by a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the lock was enabled, and then obviously the person that bought the phone didn't have the login information to get in and use it. But we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove the lock from this specific model device. It's something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer, and that's actually exactly what we were doing right here right now while it was plugged in. The good thing about this is that we can do this for just about anyone anywhere in the world, so you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer and a fast internet connection, and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we just did here right now. So as you can see, it restarted directly from the Google account lock screen that it was on before, and now we should be able to jump through the setup steps without seeing that Google lock. So we're going to go here step by step, and we should see that we can indeed get to the home screen after that. So we're going to agree to the terms and conditions and keep going. We don't need Wi-Fi, so we're actually just going to skip that. Skip anyway. And now this is normally where the Google lock page would have shown up before, but now it's just asking us about setting up the date and time, so that is a good indication that we do have the lock removed. We're going to go ahead and keep going just to make sure that we can get all the way to the home screen, though. We don't need to set up a screen lock. We don't need to use any of at and setup items. We can exit out of that. We don't need to bring over any data from a previous device. We don't need any other apps. We don't need a Samsung account. Alrighty, there we go. We should be all set here, and we can see that the home page is indeed loading up. So we do have access now to all of the apps and settings and features, and it's just like a brand new device that never had the Google Lock on there. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the settings just to show you exactly what we are working with. So indeed, it is a Galaxy J7. It's also known by a couple other names, though. Some people call it the J7 Top, or it's also known as the J7 2018 because that's the year that it was released. And AT&T has come out with a couple different J7 models from Samsung. This one specifically, though, is the one we're dealing with, with that model number there, the J737A is what this specific device is. So, if you have one of these and you need help getting the Google account lock removed from it, we would love to help you out with that, so go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and we'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of the details there as well. Make sure to check out all the other videos that we have here on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will also ensure that you're notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.